Hi, it's Anna Haferman, and today I want to show how I did these little gnome ornaments on the LK150. And before I do that, I want to thank everybody who gave to the Buy Me a Coffee, to the YouTube Super Thanks, and also who became members of my channel. Your support really does mean a lot to me, and it uh, helps me to make more videos, so I appreciate it. Thank you. So, these gnomes they're just little ornaments they're not very big um, they're just meant to be little tree ornaments or uh, something you might tie to a package christmas present or something they're not really toys they're just little ornaments to either hang on the tree or whatever whatever you want to do with it so what we're going to do is start with a little bit of sock yarn. Where's that one? There we go. So I'm using a small amount of sock yarn. Um, this is, most of these are done with Croy sock yarn and it's a very small amount that you need. Um, so like this much would probably be enough. So you can use all your little ends of sock yarn that you have collected over the years. So to do this, I'm going to thread my carriage. Uh, I've got, I'm going to leave a pretty long tail and put a clip on the end. And then I'm going to be on tension two and my carriage is just on normal. So the first thing that I'll do is I'm going to pull out needle one on the right and knit two rows. And what that does is makes a little uh, twist on the needle. So um, then I'm going to um, pull out my second needle on the, this needle on the left. I'm just gonna pull that one out. I'm gonna pull out this first one I did as well and knit one row. And what will happen is this stitch won't knit off, so just pull it back and pull it through. So now you have a float on this needle and a stitch on this needle. So I'm going to pull the one with the float and a new one on the other side. So now you'll have a float over here, so I'll pull that and a new one on the other side. Float, new. So each time I'm increasing, I'm going this one with the float and one over here, and that didn't quite knit off, so I'll just pull that through, float, new, float, new, float, new. The one with the float, the new needle on the left, on the other side. Not that one, this one. It doesn't matter if you pulled that by mistake. Pull a new one on the left or the right. So there's the one with my float, the one on the other side, the one with the float, new one on the other side, float, new one, float, new needle. So what I'm doing is increasing uh, each row. I'm increasing one stitch and I'm not doing this by just pulling one out on the carriage side uh, because that will create a big loop um, which is you know usually how or sometimes how you increase so I'll pull this one and then one over here and I'm putting weights on now because uh, the hand tensioning does not it's not working as well as it should. Sometimes it works really well and other times it doesn't. So there's the one with the float and then a new one over here. Float, new. And so what I'm doing is increasing. I want to have a nice edge without loops. It will look like this. this we're going to get a little triangle. And I want a nice edge that I can sew up. So I'll pull that one. Uh, I should have done that one. So if I forgot, I'll just pull that out. And then um, 
Pull that. Pull that one. That one. That one. That one. This one. The one with the float. And a new one on that side. The one with the float. And a new one over there. One that has just the piece of yarn floating over it and a new one. Uh, float, new needle, and I can move these weights a little, that'll help. These are all vintage weights, but, uh, and they work particularly nice for this, but if you just have regular claw weights, just use those. Uh, float, new, float, new. Okay, so now, okay. And now I'm at 15 on each side, so I don't want to increase anymore. I just want to um, knit. I want to pull this one out so it does knit off. And then I just want to knit one row. And now I want to put the carriage and hold on both sides. And then I'm going to put that last uh, needle in hold. And then I'll put this needle in hold. So what I'm doing now is just short rowing it a tiny amount so that the front uh, matches up with the back when it folds over. So it just kind of fit the gnome's head a little better. Um, you don't have to do that part, but it just makes it slightly nicer. And you know, this is a gnome's hat, so it doesn't have to be perfect, but the nicer you make it, the better it's going to look. So, but you know, if you make a tiny mistake, don't worry about it. This is supposed to be a stress-free fun project. So if you make a little mistake, don't worry about it. So I'm going to go four here. I'm going to go four here. So I've got four and hold on each side. Now I'm going to go over here and push these back to upper work. Get across. Then I'm going to come over here and push those upper work, knit across, and now um, I want to knit one row at a larger tension because I'm going to latch tool cast off. So uh, do loop through loop cast off. So I'm going to go up to tension six and knit one row. And I'm going a little slow so that it knits off, makes the stitches big enough. There we go. And now I want to find my latch hook. There, there it is. So now I'll take the latch hook. And now what I'm going to do is pull this loop through this loop and then this loop through this loop. So what I'll do, and I'm really not very good with the latch hook. so. Uh, that's one reason I chose to do it this way. I just want to kind of practice doing uh, using the latch tool because I'm not very good at it. And I find if I like force myself to do it on a little project, I get better at it. And then it's not such a big deal the next time. So what I'll do, I've pulled these stitches, these needles forward so that the latches are closed. Uh, then I'll stick the latch hook through that first one and get the stitch behind the latch and then I'll go into this one and pull that one off and then just pull so that one's in the hook and that one's in the latch and just pull it through. So again I'm I have made quite a few gnomes in the past couple of days so I've gotten a little better at it but I'm really not I, I generally don't feel that comfortable with it so I'm trying to get better at it and you know, sometimes if you're doing a small project, doing a little technique like that is fun. I mean, if you had to do like a large one it would, and you weren't that good at it, if you had to do like 100 needles, you might get frustrated. So this is only 30 needles, so it's a nice way to practice. So I'm pulling it off, and I have actually gotten quite a bit better in the past few days at this. So um, 
you know, if there's something you're not that great at yet, just practice it a bunch of times. You can do it on a swatch or you could do it on a tiny little project like this. Um, or, you know, just, all right, so now these, see, now that one's it's still in the hook. So I have to push these out and get them so that they're ready to come off. But I don't want to do all of them because I don't want to, oh, no, I messed that up. I don't want to do, I don't want to lose stitches. So see that one I kind of messed up, but I think I got it. There we go. So the old one has to be behind the latch and the new one in front of the latch. All right, so now I'm just going to do a few. Now I have found when I do this, the ones that want to drop are these last couple. So I just want to really be careful now that I'm doing it, not dropping stitches. And it really doesn't take very long, but and it gets a lot easier once you've practiced. So, okay. So now I just want a couple. I'm really trying to make sure I don't drop anything at this point. But you know, once you get better at this, it's actually really easy and it's not, um, not super difficult. Uh, it's pretty quick. Okay, so see, I'm done here. Now I'm just gonna grab a piece of yarn and pull it through and then cut. Okay, so there is my little triangle and I'm going to sew this up uh, with a darning needle. I'm just going to mattress stitch up the side. So here is where we sort of did a little bit of short rowing, which kind of makes it, so like what happens is it kind of makes it like a cone shape, uh, so which makes it a little flatter when it sits down. If it, if you didn't do those short rows, it would work out just fine, but it would kind of end up shaped more like that. So you'd have kind of more of a point in the back. So you can do it however you want. Now I'm going to sew this up. So I have sewed this up the back and I'm pretty happy with how it looks. That's my little gnome hat. And what I'm going to do is uh, cut those a little, but I'm going to take these two strands. One was the one I sewed up with and one was the one I began with. I'll just uh, thread that through this darning needle. And then I'm just gonna stick it through the hat so it's like going uh, into the hat so it's going to come out it's going to come out here there it is and then i can just kind of pull that a tiny bit if i want and it'll give it a little kind of a like a no me look if i want to do it like that or i can have it straight up whichever decide so it's kind of like that it's probably how I'll do it and um, that's fine and then I can just cut these short so they're not in the way now what I'm gonna do I need a couple things for this I need some pom-poms and these are just little white pom-poms from these are from Walmart. I'm sure they have these on Amazon. I'll find a link for something very similar. Um, those look like this. They're about three quarters of an inch. And then I'm gonna need a little bit of stuffing and that's way too much. I'm probably gonna need about like a very small amount. If you don't have this, um, you could probably just use some old yarn or something. We're just gonna use a tiny bit as stuffing. And then I need one of these fur pom-poms. Now these I get on Amazon. Um, I, they come in 
lots of different colors. I kind of like the white one with this purple, so that's what I'm going to use. Uh, when you get them, they're shrink wrapped and they're really flat and misshapen. But if you take a blow dryer and you just fluff it out, just sort of blow it and it'll fluff out. Then I need a, this is a long tapestry needle and I'm going to need some blush. So let's see what we'll do. So first what I'll do is get a piece of yarn and kind of a longish piece. And so what I'm going to do is take this long needle. Uh, it doesn't have to be this long. It does have to be kind of sharp, but it's this is an upholstery needle. Uh, this is the size that I have, so that's what I'm going to use. So I'm going to thread that. So I want to go through this pom-pom and there's a part in the middle that is kind of a hard center and you can feel it. And so you want to get through that. Otherwise it won't be very secure. So like you don't want to be just like that because it'll come out. So you want to get through that without poking your finger. There we go. So it's through the middle there and now I can't pull it out. So let's go all the way through and just get it threaded onto your yarn, onto your, yeah, to your yarn. So then I want to sew the pom-pom to the front of the hat. Now here's the seam. So that's the back. So I have that kind of in the center and then towards the front, just sort of go through wherever you feel like the center is, which would be right about there, I guess. Go through a couple stitches and pull that through. So it's like that. And then you can, so it's through that way, then take this side and you can use darning needle now. You don't need that, need that long needle. Just use a regular darning needle for this and go through. So see, I went through those two right there. So I'm just going to go kind of backtrack and go through it again, just one time. Okay. So then that puts it in the right place. What if I just kind of pull it, it'll go into the place it's supposed to be. And the, um, the yarn will kind of disappear in there tight enough. Okay, so it'll kind of disappear, you'll see. So uh, then I'll just tie these underneath or above, it doesn't really matter. So just tie like that, pull tight, go around. Uh, actually just do the same place, just do one little knot. And again, this is a an ornament. It's not a toy. So don't, you know, if you, you wouldn't give this to a kid because it might, you know, you don't want pieces that'll fall out. Maybe a, an older kid, but not a baby. Um, so there's the hat and the nose. Now, um, I'm going to get rid of, actually, now what I want to do is put a tiny bit of stuffing into the hat. And I really don't need a lot. Um, so I'm just going to put a little bit in there just to kind of keep the hat standing up. And you can play around with it a little if you want. It doesn't have to go up that far. You probably don't want to stuff it all the way because you want it to still kind of look gnomey. Just a little bit more right there, maybe. So, you know, this at this point, it's whatever you, however you think it looks good. Okay, so stuff that in there. There's the nose. Um, and just fluffing that out a little bit there. Um, so then I get my pom-pom. And these pom-poms have these little elastic things on them. So you'll take that and put it 
around the nose like that and that's it okay so that's um how it's supposed to look so there is our there's our guy so what we want to do now is uh tie actually let's get rid of these tails first so what i'll do here is just cut those and I'm going to go through here, just anywhere, come out anywhere. And then if I just cut the, pull those a tiny bit and cut them, then they'll kind of disappear. So, so those, so you don't have to weave them in, you just kind of sew them in. And now I want to get my, um, Get my darning needle, not darning needle, my upholstery needle again. And I need to just kind of tack the back down. So I'm gonna get a piece of yarn. And now I'll go with the darning needle, uh, the upholstery needle, because what I need to do now is the hat is not really on. So I need to kind of pull it down so it's like that so it looks like it's fitting on his head and you don't have to worry about this right yet because you can play around with it later so now these pom-poms have this is basically a piece of fun fur with uh it's got this stuff in the middle so what you're wanting to do is just kind of get in there and kind of go in this roll where it's going to disappear anyway and i'm going into the pom-pom and coming out the other side and really just tacking it down so that it's secure and that's it so now and you don't really have to worry about that hair in the way but that's what it will look like now all i have to do is i just went through once i just need to tie this i probably didn't see that i just tied then i'll tie it in a knot okay so now i'll cut these the same length and then I'm just going to take these tails got a lot going on here uh, I'll take these tails that are at the back thread it into my darning needle you could use the other one if you wanted but this one's easy so then I'll just go back in in that same little spot and come through the hat and just come out again I'm just coming out anywhere on the hat and just sort of so you see I all I have to do is pull it a tiny bit and then clip and it goes right back in okay so there is the gnome but we want his nose maybe a little different uh, to look a little rosy um, what I did, you can use blush or powder or chalk or whatever. I found this one at Dollar Tree. This is eyeshadow actually, and I thought this was good. It had a couple skin tones and some kind of blush, so I chose this one. Um, but again, if you have, if you have some at the house, most of us have stuff like that. So, so then. I'm just going to take a little color and get it on his nose. And I suggest uh, before, maybe before you do this, whatever you're using, you could just use a practice pom-pom and um, <clears throat> practice on that to make sure whatever you decided to use was going to give you the color you wanted or the like work the right way. So this is just, you know, kind of like painting. So, and you really don't need a lot. And because it's powder and it kind of is in there, you can kind of play around with it a little. 
So, you know, as much or as little as you want. And if you get a big clump, you can kind of do that and it'll, it'll go. So then we'll just give them a little rosy cheeks, uh, nose. Okay. So that's it. That's our little gnome. And, uh, I hope you like him. Uh, if you, you can hang him from a tree, just put a little ornament hook or a ribbon or whatever you like on the top and, um, or, you know, put him on the mantle. I was thinking it would be really fun to have a garland of I-cord with a bunch of little gnomes hanging along 